Good evening. I'm making this TikTok for mental health awareness. I had just come across a TikTok where it was somebody's goodbye letter to the world. Most people don't know this, but about 15 years ago, I tried to hang myself. And, uh, ah, I did hang myself. But before I expired, I thought about what it would do in the pain of my family. And I pulled myself out of it. And it ignited a fight in me to succeed and change things for the better. By uh, 2014, I was back working because at that time we were on welfare, getting 1200 bucks a month for a family of four. The disability 2019, we we're buying a business, and then COVID hit. And once again, this time the government had the courtesy to tell me they're going to steamroll me first. They actually did. <laughs> and uh, I mean, they kept their word. I just didn't know my wife was going to pass away a few years later. All the stress and everything. Uh, I'm still here. People have told me, like, why am I here? Why is she not here? I had no control over that. You know, I tried to help her as best I could. I've always been there for her. I was the only one there for her. Everyone else abandoned her. I'm the only one stood by her. She had a brain injury and she was learning to live her life again, learning to walk again, learning to uh, function again. And uh, you can get through anything. You can get through anything. You just have to push through the pain. I'm gonna give you two strategies in this reel that I use that have helped me and have proven. One of them I found after my wife passed, after uh, I was put through absolute hell, and uh, like she was made tea. She was reported missing. Police didn't look for her. It's common in Manitoba. Just look up Manitoba. If you know, you know. It's just a city, shitty, shitty situation here. But uh, I hope it stops. You know, I hope people stop and they actually start treating Indigenous and Métis women with respect that they deserve. Because they're people too. They're mothers. They're sisters. They're daughters. They deserve the child. So, the first technique is called color breathing. It came from a declassified CIA program that I chose to put myself through other than falling into drugs and alcohol to deal with pain. So, you breathe in the color green, which by coincidence is also the same color as the heart chakra. So, all those emotions you picture and pain sticking to that color in your heart and you breathe them out with your breath. Breathe in the color green, breathe out the pain and anxiety and worry. The other one, positive affirmations and stop criticizing yourself. Just stop criticizing yourself. Don't say anything negative. Don't even joke about anything negative. And be conscious of what you listen to. In the struggle, we used to have like three's company on all night. That's people who are both struggling, right? Trying to make rent, trying to make all these things happen in their lives. Now I listen to audiobooks at night. Instead of uh, some TV show, I didn't watch TV anymore. I hope this helps somebody. I'm making this for mental health awareness. I hope people choose to keep living, choose to keep trying, keep fighting, moving forward, because eventually you will succeed. Have a blessed evening. Thank you.